Hi, I'm Dr. David Clark. We're talking today about the new dual force matrix system that's been developed between a collaborative effort with me and Clinician's Choice. You know, in the past with a lot of these uh, posterior systems, we struggled. I mean, they were better than what we had before, but there are multiple problems. And so I'm really excited because it's been a long journey to create this great system. The goal of this video is to show you how to place the dual force matrix system properly with step-by-step -step instructions. I will also share the clinical advantages of the dual force matrix system. Let's review the problems that we see with the current matrix systems. First, the matrices. They don't slide in place very well and they lack proper shape. Next are the wedges. The current wedges fill the space, but they do not adapt well which results in overhangs at the line angles or at the mid-tooth concavity. This leads to poor health around the restoration or time wasted trying to remove the overhangs. Separators. Current separators require too much hand force because of crude springs or lack of engineering. Some of them are flimsy and many lose their power quickly. They also lack the ideal stability and can tend to slip off the tooth. So let's start with the new dual force separators. My goal together with Clinician's Choice was to create proper engineering to do five things well and take matrix systems and resulting restorations to a whole new level. Number one, the nitinol springs in the dual force separator are designed to avoid breakage and fatigue. We accomplish that with dual nitinol springs that distribute forces evenly over the body of the springs. They don't break and they don't wear out. Number two, we wanted to reduce hand strain. We accomplished that with design and advanced metallurgy. The dual force separators have all of the power of the hard to stretch separators without the hand discomfort and dangerous force required to open them. Number three, anti-slip off. When you look at the resin tooth interface portion of the separator, you see a lot going on there. The dual force flexes to adapt to varying anatomy and clamps deeper on the tooth a little bit like a rubber dam clamp. That way we are able to engage the natural undercuts present in most posterior teeth. Number four, great contacts, tight contacts every time. We accomplish that with efficient power and strategic force placement. Number five, it needs to work on teeth with fractured cusps or large deep caries that involve the line angle and it does do this well. When placing the dual force separator, make sure to place the designated forceps on the resin portion, not the metal portion. Also, only use the designated dual force forceps. Otherwise, you will have impaired function of both the ring and the forceps. Many clinicians use rubber dams and of course, rubber dam clamps. They have complained to me that it is difficult to place traditional separators anywhere near the clamp because the spring runs into the rubber dam clamp. One of the nice advantages of the dual force separator is the angle that I had built into the springs that allows it to fit on top of a rubber dam clamp in most instances without significant interference. Let's talk about the second component of the dual force matrix system, that of the active wedge. The active wedge has surprising tooth separation power for a wedge that is easier to place than a wooden wedge. The nearly 180 degrees of tooth interface eliminates overhangs. The lowered profile allows for a larger contact, avoiding point contacts that encourage food impaction and are also prone to fracture. Flutings and concavities in mid-interproximal have always been a nuisance. The special black fluting active wedge fills that concavity with patented reactive features.